Hi, I'm Eric Kaufman from Graftobian Makeup Company. Today we're going to show you exactly what you've just purchased when you buy the walk-around system, the walk-around airbrush system from Graftobian. We're going to show you all the different components, take you through your box as you're opening it up and putting things on your table, teach you how to assemble, clean, and spray with your system. Okay, these are the components you're going to get in your box when you buy your walk-around system. You'll have the compressor, the battery pack, of course, the airbrush itself, the hose assembly, and the bleeder valve, which is where you adjust your pressure. You're going to get a plug-in so you can use the item without a battery pack. You're going to get the plug-in for recharging your battery pack. You're going to get three international plug adapters, one for the UK, one for Australia, and one for the rest of Europe. You can literally use this walk-around compressor anywhere on Earth. You get a bottle of cleansing fluid to clean your equipment. The battery pack itself, and I'll be showing you in a second how to recharge that and how to attach it. Then you get a great deal of makeup. You get 15 shades in our high definition cream and their matching colors in airbrush makeup. You get warm number two palette, which is the middle of our warm range, yellow undertones. You get neutral number three palette, which are the darkest of our neutral colors, neutral undertones, neither yellow nor pink. And you get cool number one, the lightest of our cools, or pink undertones. Here you get a DVD that teaches you the use of all of our high definition makeup, not just our airbrush makeup. So let's get started and I'll show you how to put this all together. Now, this is your battery pack. It's what makes the walk around system so unique. A rechargeable battery pack allows you to carry this thing anywhere. You do not have to be tethered to the wall. In order to recharge your battery pack, all you do is connect the recharger. When you plug it in the wall, you'll see a red light when you're not charged. It'll turn green automatically when it's charged. It typically takes four to six hours to fully charge, and you'll get three hours of use out of a fully charged battery, three hours of continuous use. When it's finished, you detach the cord, And you can see the slot here matches up with the slot on the battery pack. You connect them, slide it in place, plug the cord in, and turn it on. Turn it off. There's your button for turning on and off. This is the hose. The hose will come disconnected, so all you have to do is just take this hose portion and screw it right onto the threaded piece on the side of your compressor. Do not use a wrench or any other tool. All you need is your fingertips. At the other end of the hose, of course, is the airbrush. The airbrush has a quick disconnect fitting right here. Quick disconnects are released by pulling back this sleeve like this. And it pops open. To put it back together, all you do is press. You don't have to pull back the sleeve to, sh to close it, just to open it. Again, pull back the sleeve, disconnect, press, connect. This is the bleeder valve. This adjusts your pressure from zero to 26 PSI. It's got a little mark on it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All the way tight, zero pressure. You always want a little bit of pressure coming through your system, so always back it off a little. And the reason you want that is because your compressor won't work as hard if the system is always having air going through it. It's very important for the length and longevity of your compressor. Your system is now ready to use. Now in order to recharge your battery pack, of course you have to detach here and slide the battery off, connect it to its recharger. But you don't have to have any downtime. We have a second cord that comes with your system that you can operate the system right off the wall with. You just plug it in and go. 
simple operation of your airbrush. You have the cap off. You put a few drops of color in the top of the brush. You turn on the compressor. You check your pressure. Once again, righty tighty. Nothing's coming out the front. You want some air to come out the front. You only need four to six PSI to make Glam Air work. Glam Air is our airbrush makeup for beauty work. So I've got a small amount of air coming out. And just pull back and spray. Gently, small circular motions. Looks like very little is coming out, but if I were to bring it close, look what would happen. See? So you want a small amount of color to be laid down. Gentle passes. You never want to see any wetness on the skin as you're spraying. And that's how you do your spraying. Now to clean your brush, all you need to do is spray out the excess. Do a little spritzing of the cleansing fluid right into the bowl. You can use a brush to clean the sides if you'd like. Another technique is called back bubbling. Back bubbling, you plug the front and pull back gently, just very gently. And you see the bubbling action? That's also how you mix colors. Again, you plug the front and you pull back very gently. If you pull back too far, you're gonna get Mount Vesuvius, so don't do that. And then you spray out the excess, and then you're ready to go. All right, this is the airbrush that you get with your walk-around system. It's the Graftobian SA35. That means that the orifice on the front of the airbrush is a 0.35 millimeter orifice. The needle and the nozzle are designed to match that 0.35 exactly. It's great for all sorts of general spraying. I want to teach you how to take it out of the package, complete, completely take it apart, clean it, and put it back together. Now, what you have here is a little wrench that helps you to take off the nozzle. I'll teach you how to use that in a moment. You have the cup cap that is used in the event that you're doing funny angles and you're afraid you might spill. Some people use it, some people do not. Here you have the lever. Here you have the cup. Here you have the needle cap protector. Here you have the nozzle protector. So, there are actually one, two, three parts that are very easy to just take off with your fingers. This actually protects the back of the needle. This is a little gripper, and the gripper is what grips this needle, so when you pull the lever back, see what happens? Pull the lever back, and the needle pulls back with it. If you loosen this, and you pull back the lever, nothing happens, it slips and the needle stays in place. Sometimes in transit, this little knob gets loose from vibration. So all you need to do is make sure you tap the needle forward, just tap it lightly, because it's pressing against this tiny little nozzle right here. Just tap it and tighten. And now, watch what happens to the needle. If you can see that, it disappears inside the nozzle. And that's what you want it to do. You want it to go fully forward and then come back as you're spraying. Okay? If you leave your brush dirty for a long period of time, you might have to disassemble these pieces and soak them to clean your brush. If you clean your brush each time you use it from between colors and after use, just by spraying through, you really won't have to do a great deal of cleaning. But I will show you how to take this little nozzle off. That's where the nozzle wrench comes in place. Very tiny little wrench, very tiny little bevels on the nozzle. And let me show you how that looks up close. 
right here on the side of the nozzle, which is a very small item, so don't drop it on the floor, especially not a carpeted floor once you get it out. You take your little wrench, you find your flat surfaces, and you twist gently in this direction to loosen. Quite honestly, that's enough. From that point forward, you can use your fingertip and just twist it. And I'll show you how small this thing is. It's only that big. And it has a little O-ring, a little rubber ring that seals, so you never have to use the wrench again. So that's how small that little nozzle is. And you never have to use the wrench again because of that little O-ring. Let me show you how to put it back together now. In order to clean it, before we put it back together, in order to clean it, you take a little of the cleansing fluid and a brush like this and just stick it right in the hole and slosh it around after you've let this soak for a little while in the cleansing fluid. And then, now, when you're doing this part of the job, I recommend that you loosen, pull back the needle, get it out of your way, tighten, and now you can put your nozzle in place just with your fingers. There's no need to use the wrench again. In fact, if you use the wrench now, you're probably going to over-tighten it and strip it, so don't bother. Just, just with your fingers, that's plenty tight. Now watch what I do. I loosen. I tap forward. I tap forward until the needle is seated in the front of the nozzle. And now I tighten. And that's all there is to it. Again. When you loosen it, you can pull the needle back and tap it forward, tighten, and it's coming out just like it's supposed to, right out the front, and now when you pull the lever, lever back, the needle moves. Now you can just reassemble your brush, you can put the needle cap back, or the needle cover, the back needle cover, in place. And this is what I like to do when I'm putting the nozzle cover back in place, is to withdraw the needle, just to make sure that you're not gonna accidentally bonk the tip of the needle. Keep it withdrawn. See the needle's coming out here. Once again, withdraw the needle. To put that last little needle tip protector on. And your brush is ready for action. So now you've seen the use of the complete walk-around system, how to put it together right out of the box, how to use it, how to clean it, how to reassemble it. It is such an easy system to use. You can go out and make all sorts of money if you're a young makeup artist. You can literally use it anywhere on earth. So, enjoy your spraying. <laughs>